What's happening, everybody? Jay Shockblast here, and check if it out. More, we have glory, Commander have Cody. Commander Cody Time was the personal clone commander of Obi Wan Kenobi during the Clone Wars uh, in Episode Three. He is famously the one of the commanders that gets the execute order 66 message uh, from Emperor Palpatine uh, or Darth Sidious however you want to look at him and it is depicted eventually eventually there we go uh, look at that. execute order 66 bam and he nods the head so one of the great things about the Clone Wars um, is that it really established a lot of these clone troopers to have a little bit more personality. They weren't just, you know, the same thing over and over again. We started to learn a lot about them. And Commander Cody is one of the biggest stars of that group. Um, I would say he's probably the second most popular commander uh, next to Captain Rex uh, in the show. And a lot of that has to do with the fact that, you know, he was the commander of Obi-Wan Kenobi. Uh, now, we know that ultimately, uh, in Order 66, he pretty much bites it. Um, but it makes that scene so much more heartbreaking. Um, you know, the scene where he gets the order and Obi-Wan had literally just walked away or, you know, gone away on his little, whatever you call it, uh, little dragon-looking thing. And, um, you know, and then Cody just turns around. That switch got flipped and he just turns around and... You know, start shooting on Obi-Wan, and you know, you've got that confusion in Obi-Wan's face, and just not understanding what's going on. So it really just drives home just how heartbreaking that scene is, and just how much of a deception that was. And it's kind of part of the reason why, and I know I'm in the minority, Episode 3 is my second favorite Star Wars movie, uh, right behind Episode 5. Um, well, I mean, Episode Seven's up there, too. But, you know, I love, love, love Episode 3. I love the Clone Wars. And a lot of it had to do with establishing so many other characters. It had always been Luke and Leia and Yoda and Han and Vader. And, you know, with the Clone Wars and with Episode 3, you know, we started learning about, you know, Ki-Adi Mundi and Mace Windu and uh, Kit Fisto and... Cody and Rex and you know Gree and all these other characters there's just so many characters to learn about you know there was Ahsoka um, just yeah I mean just so many other characters uh, as part of it and that that's really why I love that era of Star Wars especially when you get into the comics some of the comics are really great too um, I know at this point they're all legends quote-unquote which drives me nuts but um, in any event, Commander Cody is part of the Clone Wars pack DLC, and uh, you know, with Captain Rex, obviously, uh, these are probably the two most prominent uh, clone, the clones out of all the clone army, um, I, you know, other than Boba Fett. <laughs> so uh, anyway, there you go. There is some Commander Cody. Uh, he's got a grapple hook. Uh, he has a longer range rifle. Uh, he can command troopers and he can scan for hidden objects. So I think the commanding troopers is a really great feature. Um, you know, ultimately, Le there's like Leia and I think Akbar are like pretty much the only ones to do it. So unless, in the grand scheme of things, it's really all the same. But you know, if you want some differentiation, if you want to be able to play as a couple different characters, then. There you go. There's another one that you get to play as. Uh, so there he is, Commander Cody. He's going to get that Order 66 one more time before we call it a video. It's coming. Here it is. You can do it. He doesn't want to get Order 66. It's because we're waiting for it. <laughs> All right, well, I know the second I end the video, he's going to do it. So hope you guys enjoyed checking out Commander Cody in action, and we'll see ya. Told you.